Hello, that is the creeping today. It is August 14th, and I gave you like 14 extra days to do to build your best PvP base, and no one left any comments. And I mean that's all right, but yeah. So me and my brother built this one. So we have these mob traps. Two on each side, we could have had more, but, yeah, and they actually work, they can drop players too, they can't jump, so, so yeah, oh, and we used the structure blocks to copy those, and the men's can't fit though, and I think spiders can, but I don't know, so if you go inside here, this is just like a normal PvP base. Armor, swords, bows, arrows, instant damage to arrows, swiftness, regeneration, strength to. And we also have a bit of redstone here to open that up. And we have brew brewing supplies and some more brewing supplies. We have a brewing stand, stations, some cauldrons. We have some lights under the carpet. We have some lights under the carpets out here too. But don't worry, I'll be having another challenge. Hopefully coming out soon. Some lights under here. And yeah, this is just there to cover up the bedrock. And I had showed you just about everything, except for two things. The enchantment room. The enchantment room has a little hidey hole. You pull this, you're kind of hidden. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to place that there. And this map might be in a download. And they will be able to see your feet in there if any intruders come in, but yeah, that's a little hidey hole. So yeah, the last thing is the escape. If there's people coming in, you come over and stand on this slime block, and you jump out. How this mechanism works is, when you pull this, the ceiling closes up, the piston's on a longer delay. So when I pull this, the ceiling opens, the piston doesn't launch me up. And yeah, so I got out and then you can pull that lever over there. That will close that. So if the intruders try and set the redstone off, it will not set off because you pulled the lever outside. But yeah. And I like there being snow all over the roof. If you don't like it, it's very easy to handle. Take a bucket of water and pour it in the middle. All the the water, all the snow is just about gone, but yeah, the next snow, it will put the snow back down there. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what I had to show you. Game mode. Spectator. So there isn't too much redstone in this, but I will show you how this works right here. If you get, alright, so let's first stop at where the lever is. When you pull the lever, it activates this redstone. This goes this way with a bunch of repeaters into this piston with the slime block on top. In the meantime, with no repeaters, well, one there to power through the block to the torch, it goes through this torch tower. 
powering this piston. Over here is over here is actually nothing. I was trying to make the enchantment table pop up, but turns out that's a little harder than I thought. So yeah, there's not much other red redstone. What is this doing over here? Ah, the redstone for the door. When you pull this lever, I know it's super duper dark. You know what? Let's do. Alright, that's a lot better. So, right above this is the lever, and that comes down and around. Very easy. Redstone over two blocks, two repeaters, two torches above the doorways. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this, this episode, and I will be back with more. Whoa. Bye!